You know, a lot of people um, have a question about the sit command and why I don't follow it closely with the hear command. The reason for that is that I want the puppy or any dog to be really solid on the sit command before we start the hear because I don't want the puppy to start to anticipate the hear command. If you teach sit for a little while and then start to incorporate uh, the hear command, they're going to start leaning forward on the edge of their chair and they're going to want to come. And uh, I like to avoid that until the sit command is thoroughly embedded in their thought process. Uh, I want them to be able to sit with major distractions before I um, use the hear command. So that's the reason for that and it's crucial. Then a lot of people then they say, well, I can't get the pup to come to me uh, when I give it marks um, because uh, they just won't bring it back to me. The reason they don't bring it back to you is because they haven't been taught that yet. Uh, dogs don't do that automatically. They, that's part of a training process. First you teach sit. Then you during that time, when you're teaching sit, you start to teach hold so that they have the beginnings of the hold command. Um, then you begin the hear command after that's solid. Well, then the next question is, well, how do I start to develop their marking if they won't even come back? Marking is taught differently. It's got nothing to do with the sit command or getting excited. I like to incorporate getting excited with the sit command as a distraction. That's where the traffic cop comes in. So you're teaching sit, casually te teaching hold, and you want to create excitement. Well, a lot of people think excitement is retrieving. It's not. It's got nothing to do with retrieving it has to do with just getting the dog excited about working. So I thought I'd do a little demonstration of how that goes. Um, I'm going to work on the sit command, begin the traffic cop, start to work on hold, and then later incorporate marks. On a mark with a puppy, you don't care if they come back. You just care if they go and get it. That teaches them to watch where the fall goes and to go get it. Later, they, when they learn the hear command, they will learn to come to you with the bird or the bumper. So that's how that goes. And I'll try to demonstrate that in a sequence so it's very clear. When you're getting a puppy excited, remember, that's not a mark. That's just excitement. So I'll give you a little demonstration of that. Got to have your equipment. So the rope, you got to have a rope. You can't do this without a rope, I don't think. Stay there now. Just a minute, just a minute. Okay, so step one is get the puppy excited. Now, if he doesn't come back, you don't care because you've got this rope. All you've got to do is keep him within the length of the rope, getting him excited. That a boy, that a boy, that a boy, that a boy. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, okay. So when he's excited, then you begin the sit. Sit command. Sit. 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 Reinforcing the sit command. I'm not using the electric collar, just this rope. Sit. 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 Then when you begin the traffic cop, you're just dropping the bumper. You're not making a mark out of it. Sit. 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 That's a good boy. Sit. 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 Remember, you want to be able to talk to your dog, touch your dog, 
walk around your dog without him moving. A lot of dogs sit real fine until there's one tiny distraction, then, they're, then they move. Sometimes you'll say, good boy, and they'll move. You want to be able to say, good, that's a good boy. Sit, 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 good boy, sit. Now, when you want to begin teaching a puppy to mark, remember, you don't care if they come back. You just care if they go out and find it. Uh, you'll learn, they'll learn to come back later. So with this, with this puppy here, I'm going to start some, throwing some marks, and I'm going to try to get them to come back, but I don't care. It's fun if they do. It makes life easy, but it's not necessary. So after, and I'm not teaching the here command, because I'm just still working on sit, sit, sit. To get, to release them, I just say, okay, that a boy. Here we go. Now we're going to get a, the beginning of a mark. Yep, 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 yep. Had a boy. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Now let's say he didn't come back. I try to step on this rope like that, and then I catch him. If I can't do that, I get a longer rope until you can catch him. But what's important is that they get a lot of chances to learn to watch a bird and go get it. Had a boy, good. Okay. Later on, when they hold, 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 out, out. Then, then they learn the whole procedure. In the meantime, you're always working on hold with a little baby puppy, just for a second. Sit. Put it in their mouth. Sit. Hold. Hold. Just for a second, just so they learn the little big baby beginnings of hold. Hold. Hold, very good. Hold, out, that a boy. All right, all right. Keep him excited. It's got to be fun. If it's not fun, you got to quit. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that a boy. Any dog can learn this. If you can't get a dog to learn these things, then I think there's something wrong with your procedure. It's not, it's usually not the dog. Is it? Huh? Are you a good boy? Huh? Good. Out. Yep, yep. Sit. 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 If there's a dog that's hard to teach this to, it'd be this one. Sit. 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 Labradors are a cinch. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Sit. Good. Sit. Fetch. Fetch. Hold. 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 Out. Good. Yep. All right. That's it. That's our little guy. Okay. I'll just say one more little thing about the marks. What you want to do, you take a bumper, put it under your arm, and you walk around. And what you want is for the dog or the puppy to get away from you, like that is right there. I'm going to see how far I can let him get away from me. Then I'm going to make a mark out of it. Hip, 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 hip. If he's standing right next to you, it's hard to get a, most people can't throw far enough to make a good mark. So what you're trying to do is make him think you're not going to do anything except walk around. So you're walking around like this, playing like you're not even paying attention to him. And you want him to, to wander off a little bit so you can get far away from him. So after a while, they sort of catch on. And then you have to have maybe another person walking around with a bumper also. And then they can throw one. Now he's going to branch off a little bit. He's probably going to go to the bathroom. That a boy. The idea is... After your obedience and your sit training and hold and all that, you go for a walk and you wait for the puppy to get away from you. Right, now he's getting away from me. Now I'm going to be saying, hop, hop. So that's a mark. Now this, this guy comes back to me, but if your puppy didn't come back, you'd have a little longer rope. He goes like that. 
And you can look kind of silly doing this, but the main thing is you get yourself to step on that rope and you don't make a big deal of it because he hasn't been taught the material yet. You can't expect something before they've learned something. <laughs> 